Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator. In this episode I'm going to talk with you about my camera I use inside my printer. Why did I choose for the Rolleiflex 420 instead of for example GoPros? You'll find out right after the start. When you're choosing a camera inside your printer, there are several reasons why you want to have the camera there. The first reason is to monitor your print. Uh, you can use your camera inside your printer to stream on the web, so you can see from a distance how the print is going. This can be very handy if you are far, far away and you want to monitor the printer every now and then, so if anything goes wrong, you can stop the print. And yes, you can even do that remotely. So when you're choosing a camera for this reason, you need a camera that you can connect to the internet. Another reason when choosing a camera is, uh, well, for example, if you want to make time lapses. Time lapses are uh, videos that are created from still shots. So every one second or every three seconds or maybe every five seconds, you create a still shot and then when the video is done, when the, the print is done, all those still shots are combined so it creates a video file. And then the video files shows you in a very rapid movement how the print is built up. So this can also be a reason why you choose your camera inside your printer. Another reason can be, well, to discuss things for example. So you maybe want to have a printer uh, building something and you want to see exactly how it's doing that and you can show that on the internet. Then there are also some things you should consider. If you for example have a printer like I have, which is a printer that has a closed environment, then the temperatures inside your printer can rise to a certain extent. For example inside my printer when I'm printing ABS it can become about 50 to 55 degrees centigrade. This is a temperature which is fairly high and if you run a camera with lithium polymer uh, batteries, LiPos, then uh, those batteries can have a problem with this high temperature and eventually they can even explode on you. So you don't want to have a camera with LiPo batteries inside your printer. When choosing for a camera, this can be a very difficult thing because no manufacturer tells you if you can run the camera without batteries. For example, when I bought my GoPro cameras, I thought I could run them on every possible uh, occasion. So I thought I could run them with external power because it says so on the packaging. But then when I really tried it, I, I found out that they only run on external power when the battery is installed. You can buy a fake battery and then with its fake battery you can run the GoPro from external power but this isn't what you want because then you have to buy an extra thing. So when I chose the Rolleiflex 420 one of the things I wanted to know is can it run without a battery installed and yes it can. Then another thing to consider is the minimum focus distance. How far does your camera have to be away from the object you're filming because in a closed environment printer you can't get that far. So I have to choose my, my camera with a minimum focus distance of about 15 cm because this is where my print head will be uh, at the, the nearest position to the camera. So I had to choose a camera which is capable of 15 cm minimum focus distance and also in this case the Rolleiflex 420 well it does it. Another thing to consider is how you want to uh, connect your camera inside your printer. On a GoPro for example, at the bottom side you won't find a screw with quarter twenty uh, hole. So you can't use it in this manner. You have to place it in a housing or and that makes the, the, the camera bigger. So I didn't want that. I wanted a camera which has a quarter twenty uh, uh, screw inside so I can just mount it on yeah, almost every, uh, every possible tripod mount. And this is also why I chose the Rolleiflex 420. Is the Rolleiflex then the best camera you can buy? Well no, for sure it isn't. 
uh, my GoPros are way better than my Rolleye. So when I'm working with my GoPros, I'm sure my image quality is way, way better. But then again, I can't use the GoPros inside my printer because the temperature is getting hot, because I can't mount them. And this Rolleye has all those advantages above the GoPro. The image quality is a little bit, well, less, but it isn't bad. So I can use it on every occasion. And then there is another thing. When you're working with your, uh, with your camera inside your printer, then sometimes you want to stream it out on the internet. So with software like OBS, Open Broadcaster Software, you are capable to uh, make this camera, this Rolleye camera, a webcam. And when it is a webcam, you can stream it. So when using OBS software, you can stream one or even more cameras outside to the web. And you can use, for example, like a YouTube live stream for this. And then you can stream it in the highest possible quality. So this is really, really a great thing because now you're able to see one, two, up to 16 cameras inside your printer. Which is great because if you have multiple printers, then you can see how they are performing. And then earlier in the video, I told you, you can switch down your printer from a distance. Well, it isn't completely true because you can't log into your printer and tell it to shut down. But there is another thing you can do. You can run like, for example, an Arduino board or uh, a Raspberry Pi board and you can connect that to the internet as well. And then you're able to use those things. Those are relays. And with a relay, you can switch down every power source in your house. And you can even do that remotely by telling your Arduino or Raspberry Pi to shut it down. So I use these relays just to, to disconnect the power to my printer when I want to. So when I'm on a remote distance, I can see the, uh, the webcam installed inside my printer and when I see something goes wrong, for example I see a lot of stringing or I see a bunch of, of hair growing inside my printer, I can shut it down remotely just by logging in into my external computer, which is a Raspberry Pi or an Arduino, and then giving it the shutdown command and on my webcam I can see it's really shutting down, the lights are going out and everything is down. So then when I come home, the disaster isn't as big as it would have been without shutting down. So these are my thoughts on which camera you should buy and, and should use inside your printer. If you have any uh, thoughts yourself, well, please write them in the comments down below because I really love to have other people's thoughts on this. Also, if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Give it a like on your social networks, even share it on your social networks. And also, if you're not subscribed to my channel already, well, please subscribe, because every Thursday I make a new video on printing with the DaVinci Pro printer, some other printers, and on designing things for your printer. So, I hope to see you next week, next Thursday, I'll be there again, and I hope to see you then. Bye.